yeah greetings from karmanel international uh, it welcome to all of you to another episode of uh, expert talk today's topic is understanding the deficiency in the crop production for the various nutrients why the my plants are yellow always we ask the question yellowness of the plants is mainly because sometimes it is because of the deficiency of the nutrient and sometimes because of the toxicity of the nutrient if you will see here the left hand side it is due to the uh, deficiency of the nutrient and the right hand side it is due to the toxicity of the manganese in case of the crops and here if you will see the crop is not growing oil well in some parts it is because of the submerged condition or the undulating condition the water stagnation is there that's why it is not growing it oil so that causes the yellowness of your crop and here if you see the yellowness of the crop is due to the improper root growth and development that is that is due to the water stagnation in case of the plants and here due to the uh, injury to the plants due to the freezing injury the plants is become getting yellow so that is also due to uh, due to the uh, injury to the plants due to the freezing injury not due to uh, the nutrient deficiency or the plant deficiency it is there so if will be summarize summarize the yellowness of the plant it is mainly may not be due to your uh, uh, mainly because of the various factors like the disease based infestation nutrient deficiency or nutrient toxicity or the water logging condition or the drought scenario or the insect pest resistance so we should not jump into a conclusion suddenly to go for the application of the nutrient or application of any fungicide or the pesticides if you will if you will look into ki why my plant is plant is yellow where the symptom is appearing so when did it occur in the plant whether it in the lower part of the plant or in the top of the plant whether the soil is a heavy soil or the light soil whether the rainfall is heavy or the drought scenario is there whether any chemical is applied whether uh, or whether the adverse agroclimatic condition is there so these all are the things we need to know before coming into a conclusion whether the deficiency or the illness or the stunted growth is due to the nutrition or due to the disease based infestation or what if you leave disease based infestation and the nutrient how will you differentiate it to that if it the disease based infestation is there it will mainly because of the bacterial infestation or because of the fungal infestation or the viral one if the bacterial infestation is there you took a part of the plant infested plant plant put it in the water the oozing of the uh, water it will happen that oozing of water is due to the bacterial infestation so you can uh, use a proper bactericide to control it if the fungal infestation is there there will be no oozing out will be there sometimes the smell will be come so for that you can go for the fungicide application to rectify that one if the viral will be there the plant will become yellowness in the color the leaf will be become very small and uh, the stunted growth will be there growth will be suddenly stop so then we will we can go for the control of the aphids which is the carrier of the virus for the for the plant so if all the three things is not there so then we can come to a conclusion that yes it is the nutrient deficiency if the nutrient deficiency is there so where that nutrient deficiency it is appear so that we have to be clear so for the plant growth and development as you all know that 17 essential nutrients are needed so out of this carbon hydrogen oxygen we are getting it from air and water then the npks the major nutrient the secondary nutrient is the calcium magnesium sulfur then the micronutrient is there we all know that the law of minimum if one nutrient is deficient then that resulted in the leakage of the barrel which is showing it over here so that means that is limiting your the yield of the crop so all the nutrient whether it is required in the high quantity or in the small quantity is very much essential for the plant growth and development as well as the yield of the uh, yield of the plant and uh, if you look into look into the major nutrient as well as the other nutrients generally the nutrients which are mobile like your nitrogen phosphorus potassium those are highly mobile in the plant so those deficiency will appear in the lower part of the plant then the other nutrient your micronutrient will be appear in the middle of the uh, middle of the plant and the calcium and the boron which is immobile in the plant that it will be appear in the top of the plant so uh, so accordingly we have to divided the plants uh, divided uh, the deficiency of the nutrient uh, 
basis on the lower leaf uh, symptoms as well as the middle leaf leaf symptoms and in the top leaf uh, symptoms will be there so now comes to the major nutrient deficiency so these are uh, nitrogen deficiency is there so in case of the nitrogen deficiency the plant will become uh, the plant uh, uh, the yellowness of the lower leaves of the plant it will come and the plants will become stunted and the maturity will be getting delayed and uh, uh, the stunted growth because of the stunted growth and maturity delayed will not having a better protein content or the availability of the uh, nitrogen to the uh, plant and uh, here we are showing some of the deficiency in case of the cereal crops and also in case of the in case of the uh, cabbage crops and uh, though nitrogen is a very very essential nutrient for plant uh, growth and development but excess application of it can causing the burning of the tip of the uh, tip of the plant or the scorching of the tip of the plant so which in this case we are showing the urea toxicity in case of the uh, plants so then comes the second uh, prominent nutrient that is the phosphorus Generally, phosphorus deficiency is appear in the lower part of the plant because phosphorus is highly mobile in the plant. Though it is less mobile in the soil, but in the plant it is highly mobile. So, deficiency will appear in the lower part of the plant. In case of that, the stunted growth will be there, less vigor will be there, and lackluster appearance will be there. In some of the plants, the bronzing of the leaf, lower leaves, it will be appear, which if you will see in the various plants. So, here we are showing it is for and the goba we are showing it for the citrus if you see the bronzing of the leaf appear so because of the bronzing of the leaf the yield yield and quality will be getting restricted over here so then comes the uh, the third major nutrient is the potassium which is a protein nutrient in case of this nutrient the uh, the deficiency will appear in the lower part of the plant because like in nitrogen and phosphorus it is also highly mobile in the plant system and uh, if the deficiency it will be appear the scorching of the mid scorching of the leaf it will happen from the margin and from the tip of the plant and that will be that will be reduce your the sugar content and also your fruiting quality and the fruit sizes and the number of fruits will become less here we are showing the deficiency symptom of potassium in case of the cereals in case of the fruit trees and in case of the tomato and also if you see in case of the banana which is a major uh, major major plant and requiring the lot of uh, potassium here if the deficiency will be there margin of the leaf burning it will be start and then the slowly the entire plant will be get leaf will be getting the burning senescence and the crop will the crop will not giving the proper bunch quality or the uh, number of fingers it will be reduced and the gap between the fingers will be very very high and in case of the turmeric also the margin burning happen in case of the uh, potassium deficiency and because of that the rhizome weight or the rhizome uh, quality it will be deteriorated and calcium the secondary nutrient which is very very essential or the structural component uh, for the new growing tips in case of the tip of the tip in case of the tip of the root or the shoot or the new growing parts calcium is very very essential just like in case of the building we are putting uh, putting uh, putting cement in between the bricks to make the building similarly in case of the living beings or the living plants we are putting calcium calcium in between the cells uh, cells which is helpful for the growth of the tips as well as the uh, root deficiency of the calcium it will appear in the top of the plant because calcium is relatively immobile in the plant and uh, the particularly uh, the root growth will be restricted as well as the leaves will become very very smaller in the size and particularly the, uh, the symptoms like the blossom in in tomato blossom in in the capsicum these are some of the typical disease in, in, in typical deficiency symptoms in case of the uh, calcium deficiency magnesium which is the heart of the chlorophyll without without chlorophyll the plant will not do proper photosynthesis or the metabolic activities the deficiency of the magnesium there will be the chlorosis of the leaf it will be happen the intervenal chlorosis will be there and the plant growth will not be proper proper photosynthetic activity will not be there and sometimes it is forming the rotp in the top of the plant it will be there so some of the magnesium deficiency plants if you i am showing here you can see in case of the maize, the intervenal chlorosis is there. In case of the borsum, this is the uh, lettuce. Uh, this is very less growth of the borsum material happening. 
and in case of the apple the systematically it will be the the plant will be getting the leaf will be getting smaller and the chlorosis will happen and that will be resulted in the low yield as well as the quality of the uh, plant sulfur which is the major fourth essential nutrient because uh, essential nutrient and particularly for the oil seed crops it is very very essential because of the formation of the oil the deficiency of this it is similar to the nitrogen deficiency as it is very um, variably mobile it may be appear in the middle of the plant or in the top of the plant and uh, and the deficiency will be like the chlorosis of the plant or the uh, availability will be avail uh, chlorosis of the plant and the elonis it will be there brassica plants particularly in the leaf margin will be curl and uh, reddening it up it will be there and uh, and in case of the node and in case of the legumes the nodule formation will be less and the grain protein quality will be less in case of the maize as well as case of wheat and as well as in case of the a uh, paddy crop some of the deficiency symptoms in case of the brassica and uh, in case of the uh, banana you can see it over here boron boron plays an important role uh, in case of the plant uh, growth and development particularly the fruiting fertilization as well as the pollination of the plants the deficiency of the boron resulted in the aversion of the fruits as well as the flowers from the plant and the malformed leaf tips sometimes happen if you see here it is in case of the oil palm the tip uh, is become malformed and uh, and a twisted so that we will not get uh, the proper uh, proper quality of the oil palm and uh, also in case of the other fruits deficiency of the boron is resulted in the cracking of the fruits and the vegetables and another thing boron the deficiency and the toxicity is very very narrow little bit of excess uh, excess of the boron may be leading to the toxicity of uh, toxicity to, to the crop and uh, that will be help that that uh, that will be not good for the plant and it will be impacting the yield and quality of the uh, crop and in case of the boron deficiency here if you see the bunch of kind of things in case of the citrus the rind thickness of, in case of the citrus will be very high and the hollow stem of the cauliflower is very very popular boron deficiency which is predominantly appear in the eastern part of india and the other part of india where the deficiency is there zinc the another nutrient uh, that we know that is during the corona type for the immunity we generally go for the zinc tablets and the zinc deficiency similar in case of the plant it is uh, very very prominent because zinc uh, activates the number of enzyme activates the number of uh, uh, hormones and it also triggers a lot of metabolic activity including the photosynthesis respiration and uh, generally the necrotic spots appear in the leaf of the plant uh, leaf of the plant and uh, slowly the necrotic spots are join and the leaf uh, become the bronzing color or the discoloration it will happen and that will be that will be leads to uh, low photosynthesis and the low yield and quality also the internode is will be getting certain sometimes the little leaf of the tea or little leaf of any crop is due to the a uh, zinc deficiency here i am showing the zinc deficiency in case of the cereal crops in case of the potato and in case of some fruit crops where the leaves are very very smaller in the nature copper deficiency generally we didn't see because in lot of copper fungicide is being applied but if the copper fungicide copper deficiency will be there so it will be generally the leaf will be in the very poor uh, pale in color plant will be wilting and uh, moisture level is not adequate then the wilting will be very very severe and uh, the failure in the fertilization and the fruit set it will be happen and the leaves will be the properly seen the color and the cup shape it will appear appear so that will be mainly due to the copper deficiency some of the deficiency symptom in case of the citrus and the tomatoes uh, we are showing it over here then comes uh, the iron another important micronutrient uh, not only important for the uh, human beings for the hemoglobin formation also for the plants if the iron deficiency will be there because it is variably mobile and sometimes it is appear in the top of the plant and the middle of the plant and if it will be strong yellowing of the leaves it will be appear or the bleaching of the leaves in case of the sugar cane and the bleaching of the leaves in case of the citrus is very very prominent iron deficiency in case of the various crops and here we are showing the iron deficiency in case of the maize crop and in case of the tomato crop where the yellowing of the top leaf it is appear uh, appears and the manganese now uh, now this manganese deficiency is very very prominent in the particularly in the fruits and the vegetables particularly particularly the citrus 
and the ribs are generally pale in color and the areas between the veins is become yellow so that means the intravenal chlorosis is there and the leaf size will become very very small and that will be hindering your photosynthesis process so yield of the plant will be very very less so manganese deficiency particularly in the cereal as well as in case of the uh, citrus we have shown it over here uh, for uh, uh, the clarification and molybdenum which is playing a very very important role in case of the uh, legume crops for the nodule formation and also if the uh, for the better utilization of nitrogen also molybdenum playing a major role its deficiency will affect the nitrogen metabolism and the nitrogen deficiency also will be getting affected and in some species like cauliflower leaves become reduced and it is become whip tail like so this is mainly because of the uh, molybdenum deficiency and uh, some of the molybdenum deficiency in case of the rice in case of the cereal crops as well as the potato crops as shown it over uh, here so uh, finally uh, there are a number of uh, diseases are appear in the plant which is similar to the uh, uh, similar to the nutrient deficiency and generally we call it uh, call it uh, the diseases but it is mainly because of the nutrient deficiency the typical one is the chiral disease in case of the uh, chiral disease in case of the paddy so where the necrotic spots appear in the leaf leaf of the plants and it will be, uh, it then merge with each other and the leaf will become necrotic and the bronze in color and the photosynthesis will not appear and uh, it is mainly because of the zinc deficiency but farmers uh, confuse it with the disease and uh, do a lot of spraying of the fungicide so to rectification of this one we generally go for the application of the zinc sulfate or the uh, acoustic zinc or the zinc liquid so that uh, we can rectify uh, rectify the zinc deficiency or the chiral disease in case of the paddy already i briefed you about the blossom and rot because lot of fungicide is being used in case of the tomato because of this blossom and rot in confusion with the fungal but this is mainly because of the calcium deficiency we should look into this and go for the proper calcium product application like calcium nitride calcium chloride or acoustic calcium so that we can rectify this disease it is generally appear after first uh, after 2 to 3 picking of the tomato it generally appears so we should be careful about this and then the reddening of the cotton is another disease another disease kind of things which is very predominant uh, a uh, predominant in case of the bt bt cotton as well as the hybrid cotton so the reddening of the leaf will start from the tip and then the entire leaf will become reddening even if it also it will affect the bolls sometimes it is due to the mite infestation sometimes also it is due to the varietal one but most of the time it is the magnesium deficiency to rectify the rectify it we can go for the application of the magnesium sulfate or the magnesium nitrate or any magnesium product uh, product uh, which is incorporated or fortified with any any bulk products uh, like we are having aqu spray cotton we can go for the aqu spray cotton which is also in a combination of nk with the uh, magnesium combination is there also lot of fruits cracking will happen it is mainly the fruit cracking is mainly because of uh, uh, the calcium if it is nutrient it is because of the calcium and the boron deficiency but uh, sometimes it in the high temperature if you like go for the irrigation also fruits and vegetable crack so if you see some are the vertical cracks is there some are the horizontal cracks is there so we have to identify it properly and uh, go for the application of the uh, boron or the calcium product to rectify the uh, uh, fruit cracking or the vegetable cracking see in the crops hope uh, uh, this uh, this lecture will be helpful for you for identification of the diseases as well as the pest as well as the nutrient deficiency in the crop and do the proper measures to rectify the uh, nutrients uh, to rectify the nutrient deficiency so thank you thank you thank you very much for listening to me